So this is going to be a pretty quick video on how to make a puzzle map out of the United States. The very first step is just go to Google Images and find a nice map of the United States. Make sure it's one that has each state individually marked because you're going to be cutting out every single state. I'm tracing along the edge of each state individually. Once I get done, I'm going to put a little bit of spray adhesive on a piece of pallet wood and then just go to my scroll saw and follow along the edges. I'm not very good with a scroll saw, so uh, you can see that this actually isn't too difficult. As long as you just take your time and allow the blade to do the work, it, it ends up being pretty easy. Every time you go to a new state, make sure that you're using a, a different color of pallet wood, different thicknesses, things like that. You want to make sure that um, the states are, are, are definitely varied. You want to be able to see a separation between them. Uh, for most of the bigger straight cuts, I use my miter saw, and then for the nice detail cuts, I use the scroll saw. So then you just get your momentum roll and you just start cutting out each state. Use that spray adhesive to a, a different style of pallet wood and then make the cuts. Once you start making a, the cuts as you start to get going, you'll actually find it easier to take your cutout. Um, here I have to refer to the actual map every once in a while. Sometimes you get a little bit lost, but um, now that I've already got a lot of wood cut out, I'm actually going to slide the states underneath my cuts I've already made and then I'm going to trace the edge along those. What that's going to do is just give you a better fit. It's going to make it a little bit cleaner. So at this point, you could actually just take this and attach it to your wall, and you could use it as just decorative wall art. Or if you wanted to keep it as a puzzle, um, this is just a freestanding puzzle as is. So it would be a little bit difficult, but depending on the skill level, uh, it's obviously an option. Another option is you could actually um, take this, and, and right now I have it setting on a piece of quarter-inch plywood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace all the way around it, then as soon as I trace all the way around it, I'm going to remove all the puzzle pieces and I'll take my router and I'll just follow along my trace line and router out the, uh, the edge line and then come back through and basically just remove the entire inset of it so that the puzzle actually drops down. And that will make it a little bit easier. I mean, my, my daughters are pretty young, so I'm trying to make it a little bit easy for them. So this is an option here. I'll show you, and I'll just kind of go through and remove the inside, and you'll see what that looks like when it's done. So now this is all the, uh, the inset's been removed, so the puzzle will kind of sit down. It, it gives the border of it. It definitely makes it easier. It's still not that easy. This would, I guess, would be like an intermediate uh, scroll saw puzzle. So this is just another option too I wanted to throw out. What I'm going to do is just trace each state individually and then you can even come back through and write down the name of that state and this would just definitely help uh, put the puzzle together. It would make it a lot easier. Okay, so this is it. This is the final step and that's just to have fun and learn at the same time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like if you did and also subscribe. And if you got any questions or anything else, I, I know I wasn't too, too detailed, but should be able to duplicate based on this video. But if not, just leave a, a question in the comment section and I'll, I'll answer as best I can. Thanks for watching.